Lionel's got a new friend. It's that dog. What's he doing here? Bob and Barry were found guilty of murder and sentenced to life imprisonment. Margie was found guilty of manslaughter and received a seven-year sentence. In her defense, Margie had said, I know Christine is dead because of me, but I didn't tell anyone to do it. The jury's verdict was unanimous. I think it was my nan who told me the way it had gone. It didn't mean anything to me simply because, you know, my mum was still dead. How do you like to remember your mum? It's not a question of how I want to remember her, it's, it's a question of how I do remember her, you know. Uh, I mean, I've never had many photos or anything of my mum, it's just, but you don't need them, I don't need them. After the trial, I was posted to Hong Kong. In the middle of the night, I got a telephone call somebody said it's me Margie hello I can honestly say I do all, all my shopping virtually apart from food and clothing you know through the shopping channels now because there's just no reason really to go out the giant of global home shopping is QVC quality value and convenience Broadcasting live 17 hours a day, QVC came here from America in 1993. This is QVC. Welcome to the beginning of a new concept in television. That's me, Dan. Not too shabby, actually, after all. I was in this morning at 6, so up at 5. Um, so don't come too close. <laughs> and I've done, what have I done, two hours, three hours? That was my fourth hour. What's the hardest thing for you? For me, it is the software. It's doing anything like um, anything technical. I'm even, I know it sounds stupid, but when I first started, even something like a radio clock alarm would make me, oh, would make me panic. I'm like, oh my God, buttons. I can talk about anything, but I can't talk and demonstrate sometimes. That, that's the thing. Press that button, because when you're on air, you press a button and it doesn't work. And this is what happens when it goes at speed. Oh. Is it switched on? Oh. Right, let's, let's have Power, we need power. QVC UK currently has an annual turnover of £175 million. Pounds. Last time we actually showed something like this, Thomas, on, on one of your shows, it sold so fast. Now they've created a UK market, it was only a matter of time before someone decided to muscle in on the action. Welcome to Ideal World, Europe's digital department store. Ideal is a mail order catalogue company based in Peterborough. It already has a warehouse full of toilet seat warmers, duvet boots and the like, and a call centre fielding thousands of calls a day. Good evening, mail order hotline. How can I help? OK, that's the pest repeller at 29.95. The entire outfit is owned by Paul Wright and Val Kay, who met as marketing executives in the early 80s. Paul's background has always been in marketing. He's probably most notorious for developing the concept of the Andrex Puppy, now a marketing icon. The Andrex Puppy? was developed by moi, not him, moi, I designed it, I, I designed it, I got it made, I did all the point of sale material, I did all the copy, it was my idea, he didn't even work for Bowwater Scott when the Andrex puppy first came out, cut. Oh, oh, get out of your pram, you. Always searching for a new challenge, Paul has persuaded Val to risk all their assets on a new venture, their very own shopping channel. 
There are already two shopping channels in Britain, QVC and Shop, based in Liverpool. But Paul's sure there is room for another, and he's very clear about his opposition. QVC is a brilliant business. They've done a fantastic job. I have nothing but admiration and respect. In fact, I'm so jealous of their success and what they've achieved. That's precisely why I want to do it myself. It's early March 2000, and the launch date for Ideal World Television is set for the 17th of April. It's a mammoth task to get it ready. <laughs> I'm sitting here, and I'm, I'm obviously I'm being very enthusiastic, and I'm thinking into my head, my God, how the hell are we ever going to manage this? I mean, I've got computer systems to get right in six weeks. I've got a warehouse to fill. I've got products to source. I've got program strand ideas. I mean, all this is great, but all it is at the moment is chit-chat. I would imagine QVC would be laughing in their socks if they really knew that actually we haven't got a clue what we're doing right now. We know what we want to do, <laughs> but, but in fair reality, we haven't got one solid plan on paper. Well, computer systems, which should have been sorted out in October last year, are kind of just about being sorted out. We've got six weeks till we go to air. Um, apart from that, it's wonderful. No, it's OK. We're cool. We're cool. OK, we're cool. In a short space of time, the team at Ideal have got to perform a technical miracle, building a complete television studio from scratch. It's a real worry, really. Still, they're professionals. They'll do it. I'll have to worry about other things. Like hiring all the staff and finding the presenters. As QVC well know, to be a successful TV home shopping presenter takes a very special talent. More, more, more moisture into your hair. You've really got to be a bit of a compulsive shopper yourself. You've got to enjoy product because otherwise you can't transmit that enjoyment to the viewer at home. You've got a little parting and often your hair growth goes up that way and then from the middle it goes down and sometimes you have a little swirly bit. We are very very close to the viewer because literally when they phone in sometimes and I'm looking through the camera to Jane or to Andrew or whoever's phoned I can actually picture what they're wearing, I can see what wallpaper they've got, I can really picture their character and the type of person that they are. It's very good. We'd never go back now, would we, no. to ordinary shopping? Not not on its own, you know. That's right. I mean, it, you, don't, you don't want to get into the hustle and the bustle of everything. No, no. And it's, like, it's, it's nice, relaxing yes. uh, way of shopping, isn't it? Really? Yes, it's like Father Christmas every day, isn't yeah. it? We get sack loads of mail, which is fantastic. And emails, you know, I get about 150 emails a week. Every month, avid fans of QVC request hundreds of signed photographs. We just put the American guests together, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. If Ideal are going to succeed, they need to make sure their presenters are as popular. So who have they got lined up? Paul Lavers, runner-up in last year's Cable Personality of the Year competition. Debbie Flint, former presenter of British Forces Television. And Steve Watley, gadget man on ITV's This Morning. But what makes the team at Ideal so confident that these three are going to succeed? They were all top sellers at QVC. We've got a really good atmosphere here, and if we can just hold on to that, I think we're going through thick and thin, we're going to do really well. No, not too many, he's only had a broadcast. Yeah. <laughs> but Ideal are going to need more than just the three main presenters. So Paul Lavers, who doubles as a producer, has gone to Croydon to audition Young Hopefuls. You don't have to be the best presenter in inverted commas in the world. You've just got to be good at being yourself so that people are happy at home to just sit back and relax and think, that person isn't putting anything on. They're talking to me as they talk to me if I was with them. And I trust them. And if we can get that, then we've got the perfect presenter. Thanks for a great show, Nikki. Hi, my name's Amanda Featherstone, and today I'm going to introduce you into the world of calendars. Stay tuned, because after Amanda. the break, we're coming back with some information on diaries. Until next time, catch you then. Seven. Also, you have to be able to talk without a script for four hours. Two. Hi, um, the project I have today to show you is a uh, water filter. Now, um, tap water in Britain is like 30 years. Um, so, I, um, I find this 
completely indispensable in my kitchen. Welcome to Ideal World. My name's Sean Ryan, and this in front of me is, of course, the Gemini Soda Stream. So here we go. One, two, three, and then I'll open the door again. And you can actually hear all that fizzing, lovely carbonated water there. We've got almost everybody now, but we've got still a couple of trainees. The thing I wonder about Sean is, would he, how much would he need, do you think, to come to us? how desperate it is to be a presenter, really, doesn't it? Twenty? We, we know you could do it. You're not going to dry up on air. It just means I've got to dig deep in my pockets and see how much I can pull out. OK. What's more, there are other things you can do with this. Are you trying to give up smoking? Are you struggling? This will help you out. Mm. I'll smoke the rest later. <laughs> But there's one other thing you can do with this, and this comes absolutely free at the combined price of just nine ninety nine. <laughs> there's this button here. A little rod comes through, and you can write with it. This is the stylo. Bonograph of stylo. Just £9.99. Phone in and order it now. Thank you very much. <laughs> QVC are also on the lookout for new presenters, okay, Margaret, but of a different right. caliber. Yeah, she's here. Oh. Hi. How are you? Nice well, to meet it's you. lovely to put a face to the voice, I should say. <laughs> Welcome to QVC. Thank you. Yes, come, up, is. Uh, okay. come up to the office. Stephanie Paz is the latest celebrity to give a certain pizzazz to QVC, joining Joan Collins, Joan Rivers, and lately Britt Eklund. Jewelry has always been one of my great passions. Join me for Bedecker's personal collection. My fabulous new fashion jewelry, exclusive to QVC. QVC understand the marketing value of glamour. The Ideal Home Exhibition is the perfect opportunity for fans to meet their favorite home shopping presenters in the flesh. I've come specially to see Tova. Tova Borgnine, she's married to Alice Borgnine, and she does makeup and perfumes, which I absolutely love. This is truly Tova on location. I want to go out there and hug all of you. Yeah. It's just lovely just to meet the lady herself. Um, I, follow, I, just, I think she's wonderful. She's, she's the personification of elegance and everything you would want to be if you could. What's your name? Oh, Bella's Two, jewelry too. Three. <laughs> Are you a Dominique fan? Bracelet. No. No? Nope. We've even taped it if we're going eight. There's something yeah. we want to watch. <laughs> so we really are fanatics. Yeah, fanatics. Definitely. But QVC don't have the show all to themselves. Lurking nearby are Paul and Debbie from Ideal with their team of trainee presenters. Why we're here today is to actually get all the presenters out so that they can see what it's like to pull a crowd, to actually demonstrate a product. And actually what you've seen already is the excitement about finding a product that actually works. Like with this cream, which has made me 10 years younger. I've got to have it. So we've got to have it on air. Oh, right. Okay, all smiles. There we go. We went to the QVC stand just to say hi to our friends. Because all these people started deluging us, saying, where have you been? When are you coming back? We didn't want to say there and then because it wasn't very nice, but we said, we'll catch us elsewhere in the show and we'll tell you about Channel 642 from the April 17th. That's where I used to work. It's my home. And to not be part of it anymore is just a bit sort of weird because I'd be there, I'd be the... I'd be part of it. While they're down in London, Debbie and Paul meet up with Val and Paul to consult PR guru Max Clifford. They need some clever publicity for the channel. No viewers means no sales. I, I guess, Max, I've got a bit of a problem, only because your style is so different to anything I've ever come across before. So I'm really not quite sure how, how we go about really what we're trying to achieve. The reason I get results is because I know my business and I deliver. There's things that we can be working on um, in terms of the fact that you know you've gone from one to the other, you defected, if you like. But 
most important immediately okay would be for you and Peter Ridsdale mm. to be available for interviews because he is a very hot man right now. Peter Ridsdale is chairman of Leeds United Football Club. He's also agreed to be non-executive chairman of Ideal World Television. He can be a bloody big asset if he's prepared to go for it. Right. And right now, in a month, he will help you, us, achieve a lot. Right. That's it, cheesy smiles looking at me. Marvellous. But if publicity is what you're after, then there's one phone call that you have to make. Spice World PR. If we know someone who can get her to answer the phone and talk to her about this is Victoria Beckham. Right. Because she's a well-known TV shopping fan. Is she? Otherwise known as QVC. She loved QVC. Um, I'm just kicking off a brand new channel called Ideal World and we're looking for various, you know, very, very strong lines to do. And because she said her mum's very much into it, we thought it might be a lovely idea if um, we approach Victoria and see if she wants to do her own range so she'd have like her own hour. What do you think? Thanks for your help. Bye. She doubts it because she's really busy. She's got a really busy schedule. I'll calm down now. <laughs> it wasn't even bloody Victoria. I'd be no good, would I? I bet she hates being called posh. All right then. Bex. Bit of stuff. Tori, isn't she called Tori? Isn't that her name? They call it Tori, I think. Is it to no T Tori? It is. I bet you when we get together with her, she says, call me Tori. I'm going to say, Mrs. Bex. Oh, I bet she'll love that. How about Brooklyn's oh, for mum? God's sake. This Brooklyn's was quicker, was it? Dot one. You moaned. This was the quick way. You said she didn't like being called posh. With two weeks to go, all 160 staff arrive on the same day. Everyone from producers and directors to the technical team. Some are ex-QVC, some have never seen the inside of a TV studio. It said that it takes 40 hours of viewing of television home shopping before people pick up the phone and make their first order. Now if you had to wait until our new audience waited 40 hours before they made their first order, We'll all be fat. <laughs> because we haven't got that time. Because we want to make money straight away. It's going to be chaotic, but April the 17th marks a, a bit of a, a, a special day for me. It's the fulfilment of a dream I've had for some years. And quite frankly, I just want to knock the shit out of QVC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got everything else. Thank you, Cameron. It was a nightmare, 160 people. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I don't know any of them. I'm Andy. Oh, hi, Andy. I'm the floor manager. If there's ever going to be a floor to manage. Mark Thatcher is head of broadcasting and was formerly a producer at QVC. He's explaining his vision of how the channel should look to a couple of prospective graphic designers. Driving through craft, painting, needlework and stitching. Bobbins of the bed. Mm, I had a different thought, but I mean, hey. Work, work on it. I, I don't know. I'm not the expert. You're, you're the expert. Bear in mind, home shopping audiences don't watch it like we watch Coronation Street or EastEnders. They come and they go. We have them for maybe six minutes. You know, that's what we're doing. We're demystifying it. We're making it easy for them to understand and we're helping them make a purchasing decision. Rule number one is we go on air on the 17th of April, come hell or high water. Rule number two is there are no other rules. <laughs> the new recruits are practicing the skills they're going to need. John is learning how to count in Chloe, the presenter. Unfortunately, he's no Ted Rogers. Five, four, right? three, two, one. Envision on one. Cue Hi there, time. I hope you enjoy that. The distance that you take your arm along here determines the size of the line. There are miles of cable in a TV studio, and the trainee studio crew are learning how to work with it. Get it wrong, and you've got no pictures.
can I find a house with no views whatsoever? Where can I find another one of these beauties? Bigger! Where can I get a job that lets me be myself? For the answers to these and a million other questions about Scotland, who better to ask than another Scotsman? Scotsman.com to beat the big three, remember, walking a mile uses the same amount of energy and calories as running a mile. And you don't have to wear those clingy pants while you're doing it. You can beat the big three. You can save a life. Your own. Dad, what's this? It's what we had before CDs. Do you know who this is? You? Stratosphere. We rock. Derek Cadogan on drums, Crispin Watley on keyboards, me on the bass, and guitar and vocals, Ricky McDonald. David Hatfield, are you ready to rock and roll? You can pull down your defenses, tear you apart. My music guided up beams aiming straight at your heart. I wonder what Ricky's up to now. With email and the internet, it's never been easier to stay in touch with old friends. Ricky, still rocking in the free world? Yeah. Well, no, I'm a chartered surveyor. <laughs> what happened to that album, anyway? At the Boots Optician's frame sale, even some designer frames are as little as half what you'd normally splash out. Two weeks to go before the launch of Ideal's home shopping channel, and the studio is still under construction. So why has Paul taken on such a massive challenge? What is making this whole venture worthwhile and attractive to me is that there's 20 million households in this country. That's something like 50 million people have never seen a live home shopping channel. What's also making the venture appealing to Paul is QVC's £175 million turnover in the UK alone last year. At the core of QVC's success is the relationship between producer and presenter during live broadcasts. The producer's job is to monitor sales and keep the presenter informed of how well the product is selling. It should be a really busy show. Um, they're expecting £100,000 from it, so it should be really good. 23, 22, 21, looking gorgeous. 20 seconds. 3, 2, 2, 1, 0. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to a fantastic two-hour show. Now, Thursday afternoons at 4 o'clock are always really busy. So that's coming up okay, in the Let's see what's coming up in this hour. Well. A magazine. Alison can hear Mark through her earpiece. He reacts to the sales figures so and gives her information to pass on to the audience. Well. Now, I have to say, well and done. And it sold out on the first day of Beauty Month. Because month this sold out on the first day of our Beauty Month launch show. Over 200 people are ordering that at the moment. Summer, which is fantastic. I mean, that's absolutely flying, which is fantastic. All right, then can you turn the sound on your TV off for me, please? So we're going to the phones next. Every one of my nails was split, and I was so desperate, Caroline, that I stuck them with super glue. What do they look like now, Jane? They are wonderful. And, and I, you know, I, I I, I'm going to send for one for my daughter-in-law. Well, stay there. Thank Here you it very is. much. Bye-bye. Yeah, it's nice to hear. There All must right. have been a lot of, a lot of 
Uh, work gone into this product. As soon as you yeah, said bye, Ali, she's gone. Of the rules, colours are wonderful. Well, we're going to give you the details of that, so stay tuned. The girls she's are going to paint she's it. Gone, so Ali. bye then, Jane. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you the with... The team are always keen to know how much money they've made from the show. 9 o'clock, see you then. 90,000, I know. But that's certain. But that'll go up. All of the figures haven't clicked in yet, and so often that can actually double over about the next hour as everything's actually processed. Because when the phones get so busy like that, it, it uh, takes a little while for the computers literally to catch up the figures. It's just gone up another thousand in the last ten seconds, so... That's good. That's good result. In Peterborough, spending rather than making money is the issue. The ideal venture is costing £6 million. Money is like pouring out my ears at the moment. I just want to just feel that we've got a prospect of moving ahead. You know we've got a prospect of moving ahead. We wouldn't Absolutely. all be here if we didn't have a prospect of moving ahead. I know, I just want to ahead. feel it. Yeah, I just want to see it, feel it, you touch it. It's there, I know it's there. <laughs> If it wasn't there, I wouldn't be here. One of the reasons for QVC's runaway financial success is its variety of products. From big boys' toys to painting kits, there's something for everyone. And the quest for new products is never-ending. QVC has over 50 buyers sourcing a thousand new products a month to feed the constant demand. But the backbone of QVC is one of their most successful products ever, Diamondique. Simulated diamonds and gold, which has become the emblem of QVC's TV home shopping domination the world over. Oh, I've got visions now. A van in Switzerland with this round her neck and her ring. Oh, just sparkling away. It's lovely. Well, since I, I discovered Diamondique, I'm afraid I went a little bit overboard. <laughs> I mean, you see them on screen, but then you suddenly see them in daylight and you think, goodness, they're even better than I thought, you know, and I... And that was it, I'm afraid I was hooked. Sometimes I just like to look at them. I enjoy just sitting and cleaning them and, and looking at them. It just gives me pleasure. During his time at QVC, Steve Watley was Mr. Diamondique, and the responsibility for finding Ideal's answer to it has fallen on his shoulders. For two and a half years, I've been scouring the world, really, to find something which is going to be bigger and better than the QVC zirconia that I was known for before. So what will Ideal's answer to Diamondique be? Ah, you got it on! Oh, yes, 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 yeah. This Meet Genesis. That is stunning. Do you like it? You're happy? You like it? Look at it's that beautiful. shot. It is just so beautiful. Gemesis is a cultured diamond available in every conceivable colour, shape and size. It's one of the 250 products Ideal will need to go to launch. I'm very nervous about product. So I'm waiting for Debbie to come and see me because she got my list of products from her catalogues and I just want to know if there are any products there that aren't suitable. The presenters are less than impressed with some of the catalogue items. Oh, wow. I've done my mother without... Isn't that fantastic? Now do you keep that with you at all times. Now do you use it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and now get it off. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that we've got product to fill the first two weeks' programmes. Now, uh, how much is that wedge? Because you're down here. Uh, okay. It works when you do this. I use it with Paul Price. You Super were in first because you've got Dominion Miracle back. car cleaner. Okay, we're starting to realise there's a big difference between what sells on print and what sells on the telly. I mean, I say we're starting to realise. We always knew that. Some people here are going to have to start to realise. Because there's no way we can go to where selling stuff that doesn't work. There's loads of things that aren't on this list that I would have liked to have done. So I assume that because they're not on the list, we can't do them. That's why when I said to you, what are the products in the catalogue that we can go to air with? I thought that was what you were doing. But I assume that you would come up with a comprehensive list. Leave it to us. Give us that list, you've got that one. What's this list you've got, Paul? I've got a fuck notes, actually, basically. You don't know mine. <laughs> if Paul and I hadn't done anything to get products, we would have been, we'd have been going to air with about 20. That's not hours, that's items. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Face on Shush, Valerie. I'm sorry, Paul. Look, look. Paul I don't said, want personality Paul, clashes Paul, now, for Paul, Christ's well, sake. Well, I kept my mouth shut. Yeah, I know Paul Vegas said he wanted a specific thing yesterday. I did it. I know. You know. But you, but what has she, we, she? No. What has happened is that she fucking refused to use my list. That's what what happened. I know. She had to make yeah, her yeah. own list. I don't want to hear. You're right, Val. But now I'm going to have to create a new list. 
have everything that we've got, such that, in, in other words, we start fresh. Yes. So we now have 96 lights down here, and they need to go up there. And that's what all these guys are doing, and they're going to be working through the night if they have to. We've got plenty of sparks to do the job, so they can actually drop them into place. What they can't do is they can't set them exactly, and guess what? We haven't got any sets for them to point at anyway. To finish the studio, they need to install a set with two living rooms, a working kitchen, bring in some cameras, build a sound studio, a feed from the gallery to the floor, make it go to a satellite in the sky and back down again. To do it all properly is a three-month job. We're uh, five days away, and if it takes for me to unpack lights, I'll unpack lights. If I have to paint the floor, I'll have to paint the floor. Whatever it takes to get us on air. But if they do finish the studio, will anyone know they are there? The media have shown no interest or appetite for our story whatsoever. I'm not bothered about that at one level, other than to say that the benefit of publicity to us, of course, is making sure the general public out there know we exist and get ready to, to come to our channel. Yeah. Look, the pre-publicity really is a little bit worrying. Um, I think we're all worried about it. Everyone's putting on a brave face and no one is telling anyone else what they're really thinking, I, I suspect. I've been scribbling out letters to viewers that over the years have been incredibly loyal, kind of like your family of viewers that you know that like this, this and this. So I've scribbled to them so saying, hey, listen, this is what I'm doing with Devs and Paul and, and all that sort of stuff. Paul and Val are paying Max Clifford a £10,000 a month retainer to publicise the channel. For Paul, can you phone Max, phone the office, yep. find out if Max is there. Why do I want to talk to Max? Because coming from you. Oh, OK, yeah, get Max on the phone. So if I'll he's say... not in the office, can we phone him on his mobile? Can yep. we have his mobile number, please? Yeah, okay. I'll put him through. I'll... Paul needs to speak to Max urgently. Yep. Max. Hi, Paul. Hi, how are you doing? Very well, are you? Excellent. Yes, thank you very much indeed. Good. Max, sorry to bother you. It's just something that I'd really like to share with you. And that is, do you think yeah. you can lean on any of the press to see if they can come and give us a little bit of coverage? Uh, yes. Well, it would be wonderful if we could get it, especially if we can get the channel number on. I mean, that's all we really need. And as you say, if we can get... The, <laughs> I quite understand, Max. It, yeah, I know What's the channel number? 642. Channel number is 642. Absolutely. That's kind of, that, that, if there was anything to get across, that's the bit. So with four days to go, Ideal are short on publicity, short on products, and Posh has said no to presenting. But they do have one ace up their sleeve. Uh, it turns out I've got to point to Paul Lakes. Yeah, I'd love to sign it. I'd love to sign it. He's another defector from QVC, but he'd like to be known for more than his music. Well, I quite like. When I went, when I went to, well, what I would like to do is actually the stuff, um, the, you know, the innovation and stuff. You know, the the weird things that you don't actually see in the shop so much. I mean, a lot of the things. That, I mean, I can't keep going back to it, but the catalogue stuff, really. Yeah. I didn't realise you had a, a, an interest in sort of widgets and gadgets. I have oh, absolutely no <coughs> objection, yeah. you know, to, to you having a go with those. That's the thing. That's what I always wanted to do at um, QVC. Do the, you know, the, the slightly weird and sort of wacky things. Oh. Some of it, I mean, like, you, know, you keep mentioning the nose clippers, those sort of things. Sure. Actually, yeah. you know, those sort of things would sell. Great. Well, thanks well, ever so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah. We're excited to be here. Yeah, what about you? In a last-ditch attempt to drum up publicity, Val calls Leeds chairman Peter Ridsdale with a drastic idea. Yeah? Fabulous. This one you might not be so happy about. If you've got any bit of gossip, anything about the team, you know, a little bit of a secret or anything like that, that you could let slip, that we could legally let slip to the press, then we could get a quid pro quo from the press to get coverage on, up here on Monday. Death threat. You know, in other words, let's say, for instance, some of your play one of your players might have had a stalker or a death threat or something like that. Just on, on my mobile, absolutely. It doesn't leave me. Thanks, but the ball and the T-shirts, they're on, yeah? With only two days to go before the launch of a whole new TV station, the enormity of the situation finally hits home. Just seeing if there was a bit of paper or something stuck in it. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> what do you think? It's a nightmare, isn't it? It's never going to be ready, is it? All around the building, people are starting to panic. 
I am calm most of the time. We're getting to the stage where we're going to be on air. Hang on, you missed the point. I tell you now, there's no way we're going to record ten hours between Sunday morning and going on air. No, on no. Monday night. No, we know that. The necklace is here. The dream wizard is here. Right. <coughs> Everything else is not here. I was actually physically sick for the first time two nights ago. We're even now contemplating only running three hours a night because we haven't got any product. My remit to you is whatever it takes yeah. to get those things from down there up there. Paul's not going to like it, but the choices are that yeah. we pay over time or he, he and I hang the lights. You bitch at me, and you say, well, that's your business, because you're head of, head of uh, presentation, so you look after that. I wouldn't want to do it. I wouldn't. Well, you wouldn't. OK. When are we going to have a meeting that's nuts and bolts with directors and people to say who's directing, what, what the sets are, what... I mean, when we have a studio that's up and running, when we have lights and when we have sets. Yeah. It's not a conspiracy no, no, against no. Steve Watley. Well, no, I'm just asking. It's just... No, that. but, well, yeah, but just try and keep up. A bit yourself. Oh, I was keeping up. I was ahead of the ball in, in a you lot know, of areas. It's not a conspiracy, though, Steve. You are being told an awful lot, and an awful lot is in chaos, so we're all in the chaos theory. You're absolutely So let's yeah. all well, support okay. each other. Bear in mind, listening to what you say and my paranoia, I'm the one that's picking up the feeling of I'm third in the fucking pecking order, and I don't like it. Let's not bitch among ourselves at the moment. I don't think that is the case. It's certainly not meant to be. What else? What, what more can we do to make this thing happen? What more can we do? Oh, my God, I've never seen anything like it in my life. But maybe this. I suppose this is what I really meant. Welcome to TV. Welcome to TV. I just couldn't believe the effect. Oh yeah, my cholesterol's going down. These people aren't actors. I've been using it for about a month now. And it works so quickly. They're living proof of a product that's big news down under. It certainly lowered my cholesterol. Tastes just like my normal margarine. Go, Kira, go! Clinical tests prove Flora Proactive can lower LDL cholesterol by an average of 10 to 15%. Absolutely amazing, like discovering a gold mine. New Flora Proactive can dramatically cut cholesterol. Lovely. <laughs> Andrex is soft, long, and strong. Even when it's wet. Andrex, strong, even when wet. Do you want to know the secret of a happy, contented family life? You get telephones. Okay, okay. have a good break. Yeah, fine. Lots of them. So they can chat. You get the internet, so they can shop. You get interactive television, so they can interact. You get all three from NTL. And then you get as far away from them all as possible. Oh. NTL, the complete communications company. Fly.com. Beautiful hair color? I've got it wrapped around my little finger. I use new Excellence Cream from L'Oreal. Now with two times more conditioner for increased protection, Excellence wraps every strand in rich insulating cream. And grays? <laughs> what grays? New Excellence Cream. Wrap yourself in beautiful color because you're worth it. If you're 22 or over, the national minimum wage will go up to £3.70 an hour. 
so from the 1st of October, £3.70 is the least you can expect. <laughs> if you want more information about how the rise affects you, call us on our confidential helpline. Independent tests prove that no spread lowers cholesterol more than Flora Proactive. Call now for more information. Today's the big day. It's April 17th, 2000. And Ideal World TV hits channel 642 live at 9 o'clock this evening. If the studio's ready. The minute you smell that studio smell and of brand new gels that are sort of burning and you think oh god it's for real now well here it is doll the start of a new era Food's arriving for the grand launch party for investors and family. Champagne will be flowing throughout the day to help everyone with their opening night nerves. Action! It's fun to stay at the... Not all the programmes going out on Ideal World will be live. The male presenters have been whisked away to a part-built house to film a promotion for a karaoke machine. And they've picked a karaoke classic. Young man! <laughs> Young man! Look at this. Image of Matt. Hey, yes, you, you, you have got a belly these days. No, I haven't. You never had a belly. No. Take, right, take. Nice yeah. tits and teeth. <laughs> One MCA! <laughs> MCA! Seven hours, no, six and a half hours to go. And, um... M no, this, this is great, but um, we're launching nine o'clock tonight, and if these guys aren't, oh, why don't you slip? Botley, oh, you're back. <laughs> Oh, you have to worry that it's so ingrained in us that we'll do as long as there's a camera on. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll Climb do on it. the roof. How high is that? Back at the studio, Paul is seeing the set for the first time. Oh, I see. So they've got that far. Oh, that's quite, that's quite nice. Ideal world colours. Yeah. Yeah. Bop, bop, bop. Right. Oh, I didn't. I missed that subtlety. I must admit. Let's hope the audience doesn't. <laughs> Things seem to be going smoothly at last, and Max Clifford's come up the A1 for the occasion. Is it really essential to have them out there now, in the middle of the Oh, to get it moved. For the amount of people who are here just now, and get out of the way for them. So it's, uh, everybody can go to the toilet in peace. Upstairs, Debbie's trying to calm the nerves of the female presenters. Because psychologically, the more you worry about it, the worse it will be. I would love to have been able to have the luxury of at least doing it once, in front of cameras, watching the monitors, knowing when the L's coming up. So, I mean, you know how that works. I didn't even know there were two monitors. So that's where my nerves that's are coming from. Not because I don't think I can do it or yeah. any of that. But well, absolutely. We first night and we haven't had a producer come near us with a, right. a break and a product. I don't know what my item numbers are, I don't even know what my prices are. Like mm. you, I would be exactly the same. I am exactly the same when I'm doing something I've never done. Mm. So all I'm saying is the nerves are par for the course. Yes. I visualise energy and just calm down and get energy and everybody always says what you want when you doing it. It's just inner energy, my dear. <laughs> but then that will help me be calm for the rest of the night and all around me are losing theirs. <laughs> oh, dear, such a laugh. <laughs>
And everybody outside is just thinking that we've got it all under control. <laughs> That's the biggest laugh. <laughs> We're in the kitchen happy, we're on schedule for rehearsals at six. Because if you want another three hours, guess what? We haven't got it. This is my mum. Ideal have high hopes for their big night to sell a car live on air for the very first time. How about that? Bang, there it is. Yes. The crucial first five minutes of the launch programme haven't been recorded yet. We're an hour and a half to air and we still haven't got the opening VT made. Yeah. <laughs> it's all fun and games. Steve, Debbie and Paul will pull up, spring out and rush into the studio. Well, that's the plan. Rolling. All right, Pete. There's no time to wait for a replacement, so they'll just have to make do with a stationary limousine. Let's really ramp it up now, because I want to be rehearsing. Five minutes. Five, three minutes. We want this thing stuck over here, where these guys are standing. Put this out there, put that on there, get the open rehearsed, and then get back and in. Then get back in. Let's yeah, do we'll that. Do that. Right, we'll do that. Should have come back on. With an hour to go, none of the presenters have had any rehearsal time, and the crew are struggling to light the still unfinished set. This was all right until somebody moved it all. You know what I mean? Am I going to get my details or not? Will I get my details, please, because they're not there. Uh, well, uh, can we do it sensibly? Can we stop? Doesn't Can we what, stop I now? Just need, I need there seems to be a serious stop? communication problem between the gallery and the studio floor. No, we have no talkback, Philip. Right. Hello. Now, can you hear my microphone? Now, can we take this sensibly? We've got presenters here who need talkback. Let's concentrate on this. They haven't had talkback all week. Let's do it properly, sensibly. Old hands like Steve Watley settle into the studio routine with ease. It's all very well having fabulous products, but how do you order them? Well, it's simple. While the less experienced presenters need a little bit of support from Paul. Group hug, I think we should go. Nice. I think we should go. Karaoke's <laughs> <laughs> set, that's good. Aquarium's being set, that's good. All right. Yeah. We got ourselves a show. <laughs> the assembled guests are going to watch the launch in reception, but the time has come for Paul to make his way to the studio floor. My phone's going to lock itself. What's going on here? Oh Christ! All right. Break a leg, you. It's Paul's big moment the culmination of 10 years of dreaming and a lot of financial investment. It's now that the power of speech deserts him. Yeah, I'll play God, it means it's gonna go all right. Two and a half minutes. Countdown. It's countdown. D60, I'm gonna stand by. Thank you. Is that on a one minute, one second pre-roll? Yes, it is. Paul's goes up is four. four. You're, both, you'll be striking your pose on two. Paul talks to four, then he'll come down on two and uh, four will close up. Then your cameras will be three for the wide shot on Debbie and Steve. Go quiet on the floor, please! OK, this is what we've waited for for 18 months, guys and girls. Let's just make it right. Here we go, then, in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, roll VT6. Stand by, guys, here we go. Stand by, coming through to your shadows. Stand by four and 
Dip the music. Dip the music. Dip the music. It's probably going to be one of the best that you've ever seen. Dip the music. What did you expect? You didn't expect us to be serious, did you? This is going to be fun. That's what ideal world is going to be about. You're going to be seeing things that you want to buy, and you're going to have fun whilst you're buying. But I am joined by the lovely, the delectable, the <laughs> divine, adorable <laughs> Debbie Flynn. Thank you, anybody who's sitting watching tonight, hoping and praying that there'll be something you want to buy. We think there will be. Cheers. 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 One of the best models that you've ever seen. Wouldn't it be lovely like this? But wouldn't it be so even better like this? Yes. Yeah! Thank you, Lord, and you don't have to wait. Meg here. So we've got to do sound comments. You can't hear me, which uh, yeah. you've got that was really deliberate. Oh, oh, no, we don't, want, <laughs> we don't want you lot in. <laughs> no. We said we'd look after you. What do you think? Well, I think the sound is a bit funny at the moment. Yeah, we've got a bit of a problem with that, but I mean, with the trouble is, as you know, we were still being on the set like ten minutes ago, so yeah. it's yeah. all come a bit, um, yeah. a bit I, quick. I, I thought they would have arranged that more before. No, they're, 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 they're working on it now. Yeah. There's the little pig kissing the little dog. There's the koala bear with the phone inside. I'll show you in a minute. And there's the panda. Aren't they fabulous? Absolutely superb. Val's gone to the call centre to check early sales. What is? <laughs> yeah, they're going like they're going like hockey. Yay! I'm loving every second of it. This is something that it's my dream come true. With a dream with a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off. Bye. <laughs> this is my most favourite pillow. And why do I love this pillow? Because it makes dreams come true, that's why. It's, I've got my friend Brinsley Schwartz. Brinsley. <laughs> Brinsley Schwartz, thank you, I've got a new name. <laughs> Brinsley Ford, from formerly of Aswad, with me. Guys, everyone listen, this is what's happening. Tony Blackburn is going to introduce this hour as if he's a sad git on his own having a party. Oh, wow. <laughs> with the Shagadelic 60s. He's going to say, in an ideal world, we'd have a proper party. As this is an ideal world, I just think we should have a party. Come on, let's have a party, everybody. We've got the music, we've got everything here. Let's have a party. Whoa, let's have a party. A surprise fax has arrived in the gallery from some old friends at QVC. These are our old mates. These are our old mates and it's wonderful. Oh, What's that? In the spirit of friendly competition, the team read it out on air. Hi, everybody. We've got lots of friends at QVC. <laughs> We're not going to be frightened of saying QVC. Yeah. About 150 quid so far. That's sold six. Fabulous. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to go to the telephone line. So we... Hello, Janet. There we... Hi, Janet. Hiya. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. You've gone for the phone buddies, have you? I have, yes. Which, which one did you get? I'm just going to put Billy Bass to the side in a second. I've ordered the um, panda I and got... the koala bear. Can you put that fish in the aquarium, please? <laughs> <laughs> and when the fat fish sings, it's all over. Live at nine tomorrow. Oh, six. On. I do I'll just come for a bottle of champagne. Well, I will do just that, mate. Well, how do you think, then? <laughs> now, tomorrow we know there's loads of things to be done. We know there's tweaking, nipping and tucking. We'll examine that tomorrow, but tonight's not for that. Tonight's to say congratulations, well done, because we actually gave QVC something to stick up their bums. Because you know what? <laughs> when we were out there having shitloads of fun, what were they selling? Cuckoo, Cuckoo clocks! clocks. <laughs> right, from the figures I received um, for, for midnight and before, 
we took £7,314, which equates to about two and a half grand an hour. We took 209 orders, which equates to £70 an hour, making the average order value about 35 quid, which is well above that of our rivals. Yeah. <laughs> and what it also means, Brian tells me, there was at least 20,000 people watching us, at least. What a wow. The Chris Evans Breakfast Show. Ten past eight, I can now reveal to the world the greatest TV channel ever to hit the TV screens of any country on planet Earth. <laughs> it's channel 642 and it's called Ideal World. Over the weekend, <laughs> right, they had so little to sell that they resorted to selling photographs of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> They're genius. Paul, Paul, that is Paul Avis. Brilliant. That's, That's it. Steve That's the greatest Bromley. idea ever. <laughs> TV, can I help you? But after a shaky start, Ideal have made it to their three month anniversary. Making it the success it is, the success that we really didn't believe was possible. That's why we're celebrating. I just think that what we have to offer here is the renaissance of the professional salesperson the informed, interesting, entertaining, enthusiastic, you know, person back into people's living rooms. Their estimated turnover to date is four million pounds and growing. Only another 170 to go to catch up with the opposition. <laughs> Dolly is back in a brand new series and she's after a little companion or two. Not a word about damn animals, there's a pet. Pond Life returns in a few minutes. This Danish driver had drunk double the legal alcohol limit, which might explain why he was using the wrong side of the dual carriageway. legs hanging out of this car belong to another young Dane who, along with some drunken friends, was enjoying a Sunday afternoon drive. The driver was later arrested for dangerous driving. And other Danish officers were intrigued about what was going on in the back of this Fiat. Initially they thought it was a case of motorised hiccups, but it turned out to be an inexperienced driver stuck in high gear. A hundred miles into a pursuit across Los Angeles and with armed officers in pursuit, this van driver stubbornly refuses to give up. The police fire shotguns at his tyres. Immediately the van slows, running only on its wheel rims. But still the driver continues. Unfortunately, his judgment's impaired by smoking cannabis at the wheel. Finally, in a manoeuvre that police in America call fishtailing, they spin the van into a building. The target isn't the user of drugs, but the supplier. Los Angeles police are in pursuit of a known drug dealer. In order not to be caught with any incriminating evidence, the dealer opens his door and starts discarding the drugs and cash. Unfortunately for him, all his actions are being caught on video, to be used as evidence later in court. He then decides to have some fun with the trash cans, side-swiping them with the car door. But 
but with nowhere left to run, he signals he wants to give up. Hands above head, the driver is read his rights. This Polish cyclist is in no condition to read, let alone ride. If he had a copy of the highway code handy, he'd be shocked to discover quite how badly he's doing. Number one, never ride under the influence of drink. Number two, never ride without due care and attention. Number three, do not swerve to avoid obstacles that you imagine are in front of you. And number four, ensure your brakes are working efficiently and that you know where you're heading. Normally sitting in this seat next to Colin is co-driver Nicky Grist. His job is to call the route ahead to Colin from his extensive pace notes. And I can tell you, travelling at this speed and in this light, it's incredibly difficult to see anything. But that information is absolutely vital for Colin because it allows him to anticipate not only the next bend up ahead but perhaps the next two or three, adjusting the speed and the position of the car. Now, when you and I are out driving on an ordinary road, we don't have the luxury of a co-driver or a clear road up ahead. So we have to adopt what's known as defensive driving techniques. And that basically means anticipating all of the hazards that might be up ahead and then dealing with them efficiently and safely. Crucial skills that this BMW driver lacks when he aggressively overtakes at a roundabout and accelerates away from a police camera car. Police who have completed the advanced driving course are in a perfect position to judge bad driving and determine the BMW driver is driving offensively rather than defensively. Clocked at over 75 miles an hour in a 40 limit, this driver was disqualified for 12 months and ordered to retake his test. And the officers ordered him in for a few well-chosen words. Just staying on the pavement, please. Good when you get the hit by a dangerous driver. This high-speed pursuit clearly illustrates the benefits of advanced driver training, demonstrated by Thames Valley officers. Notice the precision and control of the police driver as he maintains a safe distance from the criminal's car. Red Astra GTI, failing to stop, three up, towards the A4. He's going for an overtake, 70 miles an hour, approaching Tidmarsh through Tidmarsh village. The police driver's precise commentary not only informs his colleagues of the criminal's exact location, but records each driving offence he commits. Using increasingly sophisticated camera equipment, police forces are able to prosecute dangerous driving more easily and efficiently. When the case comes to court, the criminals will be judged not only on the theft of the vehicle, but also for the numerous counts of dangerous driving. Two pedestrians on the footpath. Accelerating. Approaching oncoming vehicle. Snaking over the road. Wrong side of the road. Right-hand bend. Series of bend sign. Going right. Roadblock sign ahead. Distance, John, distance. Red traffic lights. Red traffic lights with the A329 through the red lights. Going left, left, left. 
Running the gauntlet with a highly skilled police driver is futile. And finally, the driver of the Astra gives up. He can expect a heavy fine and a long ban. Indicating to go left. Indicating. Get ready for a decamp into the bus lane. Go alongside, alongside, John. Take a stopping. For Colin, winning the World Rally Championship was the result of years of intensive training. But even if you don't own a supercar or a 4x4, the skills that we've demonstrated on tonight's programme are relevant to every driver in every sort of car. And advanced driver training does work. Statistics show that people who've done it are two and three times less likely to be involved in the kind of incidents that are increasingly captured on police video and featured on police camera action. Finish it one way or the other. The net is closing around Greg Taylor. Right, knock, knock, knock. The knock, Thursday at nine on Scottish. Heard the news? New Huggies are now much more absorbent. Doesn't that make them the best Huggies ever? Yeah. Now your local school could collect hundreds of free reading books. Just hand in the tokens from any Walker's pack. But why do they have to be full packs, miss? They just do. Crisp? <laughs> you want incredible colour, but you also want incredible hair. Colour that lasts, and colour that's gentle. It's not impossible. It's Hydrian's. Because it's water-based, its unique colour cream hydrates your hair. It's the gentle, permanent way to colour. And your hair is silky and shiny. Clairol Hydrians. Incredible colour that's incredibly gentle. Everybody knows stir-frying is healthier. But is that the only reason the Chinese invented it? Horse feathers. They simply ran out of trees. Cooking this way saved wood. Everybody thinks all fats are bad. Claptrap. The polyunsaturates in flora oil actually help lower cholesterol. Making it good news for my body, your body for... I've listened to everything everybody said and I'm still standing here waiting. Jeremy Beadle. He is one of the nicest people I've ever met. Oh, Kevin. I don't believe this. Just another day at the office. Airline, Friday at 8 on Scottish. It's funny, isn't it? A dangerous assignment. DC Kerry Holmes is undercover. In prison. I know everything. And I've been watching you. What goes wrong in there? There's nowhere to run. You sure she didn't fall out? The Bill, Thursday at 8 on Scottish.
the sole survivor and heir to the Greek shipping tycoon Aristotle Onassis. There is this curse that hangs over the house of Onassis. A remarkable insight into a legacy of tragedy. Athena Onassis Roussel is the richest little girl in the world. Tonight, 10.30 on Scottish. Well, Nan Scottish taking us through to news at 10, a lesson in life for the new doctor and a patient with a problem in peak practice. Then, Mr. Lane. Yeah, lovely. All right, we'll see you tomorrow then. Okay, bye. Morning. Pint, please, Don. Bitter? Oh, you caught me out. For a moment there, I thought I was still in the pub. Just joking, look. Yeah. Now, it suits you standing there in your uh, official capacity. Can you fit me in, as it were? Okay, let's have a look. Uh, Dr. Graham's got a cancellation in 20 minutes. Graham? Oh, that sounds okay. Either new bloke. She, Dr. Joanna Graham. Thanks. Uh, look, that's not... Uh, hey, um... James Moore. Oh, hi. Follow me. Listen, uh, can I see one of the others? Y you know, can I see one of the... No available men for at least two hours, I'm afraid. You'll have to come back this afternoon. So, what can I do for you, James? I've got this cut on my leg and it's all sort of septic now. I thought I would heal on it soon. Okay, let's have a look. Just pop up here for me. This one? Yeah. Right. How did this happen? Fell over. Shot a bit of rock. Okay. Well, you had a tetanus jab not so long ago. I'll prescribe you a course of antibiotics. So, do you live nearby? Do you know Pantalone Sloan? Um, Name sounds familiar. Well, do you know the Granger's Wood and the trap before it that misses the stream? Sorry, I'm kind of new here. That's all right. Anyway, it's up over there. It's 21 and a half acres. It's tenant farm. Did your mum put anything on that? No. Any particular reason? Yeah, she only cost it us all. How long has she been there? Eight years. Right. So you live with, um... My dad. Oh, right. OK, well, if you go to the nurse now, she'll put a dressing on for you. One capsule three times a day for five days and finish the course, OK? Is your dad picking you up? Oh, I have to pay. No, no, don't worry. Is your dad picking you up? I'm on my bike. Right. Well, ride carefully. Georgie, have you... Is that rocket in there? I mean, I love rocket. Yeah. Didn't buy around here, did you? No, my mum's garden. All oh, right. Now, what I wanted to ask, that boy this morning, James Moore, with a cut on his leg, do you know him at all? Or his father? Mm, not really, no. I mean, I'd probably recognise his dad, but I wouldn't be able to put a name to him. Michael Moore. I'm a bit concerned. That was quite a nasty little wound, and coming in on his own. What are you thinking? I'm not sure. Something's not right. I mean, I'm not saying he was hurt deliberately, necessarily, but it could be a case of neglect. No, it's possible. You should follow your instincts. Yeah. Maybe I'll drop in tomorrow and see the lie of the land. OK, thanks a lot. Oh, you're welcome. And I'd advise your mum to fortify her vegetable patch. In case I come stealing by. Mm -hmm. Sitting there idle, Alice? Sure, there's some weeding and digging to be done. I know, I know. Terrible example to the young. Shocking. No, it's not. It's excellent. It's crazy to get active too soon after surgery. And how's the convalescent care? Oh, lap of luxury. Waited on hands and foot, lovely meals every five minutes. I may never recover. So any complaints? Any dizziness? Um, 
You sleeping okay? No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. What I really want to hear is that Nick is going to be all right and she's recovered from the leukemia. We all do, Mum. We will, don't worry. Well, it's like the consultant said, I think we just need to be patient for a little bit longer. It's good to see you looking so well, Alice. I'll see you out. Sorry. You okay? Yeah. What? It's weird, isn't it? Back then, I never expected to be here now, in this situation. Back when? Back then, when we were young. Yeah, well, I mean, some things you don't expect, you can't... You can't predict, they just... I just um, a bit okay. In your own time, Mr. Crick. I don't want this put about. Oh, I understand. I mean, there are some things difficult to talk about. You want it straight? I'll give it to you straight. I have recently, and I've never had this before, never, not in 25 years of activity, but recently, as I say, I've been having, well, I've been experiencing, that is, a certain amount of difficulty in the, um, well, in the, you know. Yes? Bedroom department. When did this begin? Three months ago. And you're not on any medication of any sort? No. This sort of thing sometimes has an emotional or psychological root. Was anything happening around then, or more recently, that might have affected you? Emotional? I wouldn't say I'm emotional. And you've not suffered a bereavement or anything? Problems at work? Look, I am used to doing it on a daily basis. This is no good. I'm losing my strength, my sharpness. I can't concentrate. Tired all the time. I'll be honest with you. It's making me feel psychological not being able to do it. I can't face the wife. I'm spending more and more time in the pub. Alcohol won't help. That'll just make matters worse. I know. But you can help me, can't you? The stuff you can give me now, you know, to get me back in the saddle. I want some of that Niagara. Viagra. You see, that is typical, that is, these days, confusing things up. Really? Do you find you're salivating more than you used to? Why? I am. I don't know why. Why? Because my appetite's not being satisfied. Claire? 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 Shh, shh, shh. Oh, it's OK. He was just dropping off, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Where are the kids? Oh, they were having tea at Charlie's. How was your day? Oh, it was all right. Uh, yeah, Alice is doing OK. We're a bit on tender looks about Nicky. God, I bet. Oh, it's been a nightmare for Patricia. I, I don't think I could stand it, seeing the people you love most in such a vulnerable state. Well, oh, she's, she's coping. How's this one been doing? Oh, he's fine. Are you hungry? It's just a shame my marriage is breaking down. I really feel for her. You should keep an eye on her, David. Yeah. Yeah, well. Oh, great. I'm Dr. Graham. How's James? He's fine. And how's his leg? You know, the, the wound in his leg. He came in with it yesterday. Did he? Jamie? Is it serious? No, no, it's fine. It's nothing to be concerned about, Mr. Moore. I didn't realise that you weren't aware. Hi, James. Wow, serious hardware you've got there. I'm mending the bone, my dad. What are you here for? Just thought I'd take a look at your leg, see how it's healing. Oh, I'd like to take a look at it too. Why don't you tell me about yourself? I have to tell you everything. It's my leg. I'm supposed to look after you. I'm your father. 
could look after myself. Come inside, Doctor. I'll make us a cup of tea. You can sit to his leg. How did it happen? There's no time for tea in that, Dad. There's too much to do before sundown. Come on, you. I was school today. You okay? What did you learn? 75% of the same street quarters.